checkup complete, Captain. This coral reef is healthy. Good work, Peso. Let's head back to the octopod. Oh! Ah! Ah! Lionfish! Peso, back away slowly. Yes, those lionfish have spiky fins that sting. I've never seen them in this part of the ocean before. Shellington, we've just spotted two lionfish. Lionfish? They don't belong in these waters. And if they stay here, it'll be a disaster. Lionfish are great hunters. They can eat a fish in a single gulp. But there aren't any fish here to eat them. And, well, they can have lots and lots of babies in a short amount of time. Oh, I'll say. So, if those two lionfish stay here, the coral reef will soon be full of lionfish, and not much else. Exactly. Then we better get them back where they belong. Just one fast gulp. <clears throat> hey, you just scared away our lunch? We'd like to offer you lionfish a free lift home, all meals included. I don't know. The Eden's real good here. Yeah? These fish don't know to be scared of us. But don't you feel just a little bit, um, homesick? Well, we didn't mean to leave home. We got blown away by a hurricane and then got caught up in all the wrong currents. And we finally ended up here. Oh, Lily, I want to go back home now. <laughs> OK, Louie, OK. All meals included, you say? Guaranteed. Deal. You want to shake on it? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to sting you. Louis, cheer up. We're going home. Well, hey! We'll need to prepare the octopod for dangerous visitors. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. We're bringing a pair of lionfish aboard the octopod. Yow! Beware of their poisonous stinging spikes, mateys. Dashy, secure all fish tanks. Already on it, Captain. Sardines secure. And zebra fish secure, Captain. Very good. Tweak, we'll keep our visitors in the launch bay. Sure thing, Cap. Tunip, prepare some fish biscuits. These lionfish are hungry. But the Octonauts, meet Lily and Louie. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, make yourselves at home. Thanks. So, where's the food? Ta -da! Just one fast. Go. Cool. Oh, oh, God. What else you got? Yeah. <gasps> Ate them in a single gulp. Looks like you better make some more, matey, and fast. <laughs> Lily, Louie, right now we're here. And we need to get you back to the Pacific Ocean over here. It's going to be a long trip, but I promise we'll get you home. Then what are we waiting for? Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, 
leak. What's going on down there? Whoa! Cap, the octo hatch somehow opened just as the ship was tilted. Like, we're flooding fast. <gasps> and the lionfish are on the loose. Dreek, close the octo hatch. I can't flip the octopod until you do. You got it, Cap. Everyone, find those lionfish. Before they eat the other fishies. I'll make sure we don't crash into anything. Ah, or anyone. I smell fresh fish. This way, Louie. I'm coming, Lily. Lionfish heading for sick bay. Then we don't have much time. Helmets on, mateys. We've got to swim up to the second floor. Dashy, open the octo chute. I'm on it. Ahead, Captain. Uh, uh, I see them. Tweak, we're sinking too fast. Any luck with that octo hatch? I'm working on it, Cap. Hey, so you look for the sardines. Shellington, the zebra fish. I'll take the lion fish. No sudden moves now. Hey, oh, come here! The zebra fish. Dumping jellyfish. Just one fast. Go. In you go. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Lily, you asked for this. Yeah. Oh, oh. Thanks, Louie. Let's get out of here. Hey, so quasi has been stung. Meet me in the sick bay immediately. Hot water should make the sting feel better, Quasi. <sighs> Aye, it already does. But we're all in hot water if we don't find those pesky, poisonous lionfish. At least the zebra fish are safe. The sardines! We have to get to it before the lionfish do. <laughs> There they are. You handle the sardines, Peso. I'll take care of the lionfish. Just one fast go. Yeah. Oh. The sardines are safe. Just one fast go. <laughs> A pod of whales straight ahead. Let's get out of here! Sorry, Tuna. After them! Come on, Louie. Let's swim out of here once and for all. Hey, another good idea, Lily. Captain, the lionfish are heading for the launch bay. Ah, understood. Tweak, the lionfish are heading your way. Is the octo hatch closed? I'll have it closed faster than you can see. Crunchy, crunchy, the crunch cats. It's closed, Cap. Good work, Tweak. Let's split up and look for them. We never did get our snack. Hey, how about him? Hmm. Captain, we're clear of the whales. And not a moment too soon. Everyone, get ready to flip. <laughs> Safe and sound. <gasps> More or less. Ah, home sweet home. Hey, thanks for the lift. Sorry we tried to eat your crew. So, how about a group hug before we go? Ah, <laughs> um, maybe another time. When you're not poisonous. Oh, yeah, poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. 
Uh, it'll be great to get back to the octopod and get some sleep. I. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice sea grass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah! Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, my favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, my least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We're the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A vast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. <laughs> Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Gubby's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Lappity flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye, there'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be, holding on by her tail. <laughs> Our 
Get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you... Quasi? You! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Don't worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice! Thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic. I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. <sighs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. 